from Minute Maid Park in Houston. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Houston Astros. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. You're Don Alvarez. Riding a power surge coming into this one, Chris. He's homered in four straight games. He is managing to find pitches that he can barrel off and do damage with, and really that's the key for him. As long as he can get the bat to it, because he's so strong, there's a good chance that it leaves the ballpark. Just about set to go now on the hill and coming off a great start from Valdez. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know Leading more times than not when Angels. he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your okay. part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good dives, but it kicks off his glove. Diaz slings to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Singing, it was tough to tell in live action if the ball actually beat him. And it looks like they want some time to review it. Yeah, we'll get another look uh, up here, too. And, you know, they called him out on the field, but it just might be worth the challenge. And they'll have to see clear evidence the other way. To well, they are going to challenge the call. And so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Here's one more look, Singy. You think they're going to overturn it? I kind of do. Yeah, I think there's a good chance as well. I mean, the more I look at these different angles, the more I'm becoming convinced that he actually beat the throw. So... It's turned out to be a pretty good challenge. The decision's been made, and he's safe. Upon so they overturn the call, the call, and they get it right by taking a chance with a challenge. The Here's the second baseman, David Fletcher. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Runner at first with no outs here. Runner. Shohei on the go. Pitch in for a strike to second, but way too late. Safe there. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. Runner leads away at second. Line drive, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting third, the center fielder, number 27, Mike. Here's Trout. Mike Trout. Year in and year out, this guy, an MVP candidate. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Soft contact in the air, and it falls. Here comes the runner. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And it's 1-0.
Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. But not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed it. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And next for L.A., Jared Walsh. This one in the dirt. Valdez moves to first and diving back is Trout. And a pitch. Trout on the move. Pitch is low. The tag and he's out at second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing. Even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed and accurate. That one fouled off, two and two. The wind and the pitch. And it's filled up. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third, and he held up just enough. That's ball four. So here we go again with the walks. That's it's it. been a real struggle the finding the zone for him in the six. past. Now, even Anthony if they get out of this jam, Ray these Ray walks Ray. add pressure and stress to the entire team. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. And now it's even up. And here it comes. And a base hit up the middle. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That is it. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Kurt Suzuki to step in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The 1 0. Pitch misses there. And now 2 0. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Walsh, the lead runner at second. Rendon at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is fouled back. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Myers sizes this one up. Makes the catch in and goal. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. of the first now it's the right fielder Kyle Tucker singing you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. 
Michael Brantley stands in. The designated hitter, Michael. In there for strike one. Ground ball up the middle. Wade handles the chance. The throw to first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Batting third. No left field. Two outs, bases empty. And next to hit for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. Three for eight in the series coming in. First offering misses the mark. Next pitch is outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. On the ground to the left. Slings it across. That ends the inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, second inning set to go. And now the right fielder, Taylor Ward. The right fielder, number three, Taylor. And a pitch. Ward. Bounced up the middle. Now Tuve handles it. One up, one down. Batting it. The shortstop, Tyler Wade. Now batting Tyler Wade. And first offering is fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one out in front that time. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. And the next pitch is way outside. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. The 2-2 two -two gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. So digging in, Brandon Marsh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Wade leads off first with one away. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Kicks and fires. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. To first, and he breaks for second. Wade hung up in a rundown now. Here's the tag, and he's out. 
When there's a lefty on the mound, you've got to make sure you've got more of a one-way lead, even leaning back to the bag when he picks up his leg, unless you're thinking you're going first move. Not sure what he was doing right there over at first. Two two down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a one two three inning. After an inning and a half, it's one nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. pitch in for a strike strike one looks like he's just sizing him up there really good pitch to hit but he took it all the way sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game that may be a pitch that he turns on and he'll two line drive calls it in and there's one away batting fifth the first baseman Julius Pierre Hell. Now it's Yuli Guriel. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The third baseman. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Alex Bregman. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. He's got it, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're down one nothing. People and sell my CDs. This is my grind. It's what I'm committed to. If it don't sound good, maybe it ain't. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The he is quite an athlete. Hitter. I mean, you look Shohei. around the other sports, basketball, Otani. football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Going on. That ball. one misses. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Next offering way off the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Well, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Fletcher retire. Up next for the Angels, the center fielder, Mike Trout. Here's Trout. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. In the air, out towards right center. Tucker, long run on his horse. Brings it in, 
And that's the third out. Angels go down one, two, three. They lead it one nothing. Welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Oledmis Diaz. And way to go for the Astros. Not shortstop. Oh, Lorenzen like back to work. Diaz. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground to third. Slides, but it gets by him. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Jason Castro up next for the Astros. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Jake Myers swings through that one there. First and second here, no outs. The 0-1 oh. is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Here's a one-two. On the ground, the third might be two. Goes to second for one. Relay to first, double play. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. So after the double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game. This is one of those situations where the pitcher may not really want to deal with the guy in the box, and you got to be aware of that. Take your walk. I could do it, but I think he can. Diaz on third with two out. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Out to short, sends it to Walsh. What a play to end the inning. One left for Houston. They still trail 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead, lead off, off the, the fourth, Jared Walsh. First baseman, Jared Walsh. The pitch. There's a strike. And it's one and one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Next offering is foul back. Mm -hmm. 
flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. Next offering in the dirt, and the count is even two and two. The 2 2. Popped up. Bregman is under it. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. This one popped up. Altuve makes the play, and there's two away. Now battle the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Two outs, bases empty. Kurt Suzuki, the next to hit for the Angels. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. A one down. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Two outs. Rolled over to third. Bregman to first. And that is that. And the Angels are gone in order. But they still lead it 1-0. Back here in Houston, ready to go. Bottom four. Go. Now Look the number the two hitter, Michael Brantley. Hitter, Michael Brantley. The pitch. There's a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. On a line, base hit. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. So up next, you're Don Alvarez. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Righty to the play. There's a strike. Brantley gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Grounded to third. Could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. On to Walsh. That's two. Now back. Second baseman. Jose Altuve. And now here is Jose Altuve. First pitch just misses. One ball, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes to count. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And now two and one. On the ground to short. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning.
Back here in Houston, we go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. The right fielder, number three, Taylor. The pitch, Ward. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next pitch misses way outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. That one's spoiled and they count now 2-1. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Guriel sends it to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next for the Angels, Tyler Wade. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Lined, and that's a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, now trusted back. his hands. Nice it. job of going the Brandon other way. Mark. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in is the speedy Brandon Marsh. In there and it's 0-1. Next no, offering no. misses. And it's a ball to strike. Working down to the zone to start the at-bat. Looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back-to-back -back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. So his plan of attack on the mound worked perfectly right there. Got what he was looking for. Well, he was determined to get that hitter to take a pass at that pitch, knowing that if he got it on the ground, the defense is really good behind him. They could roll it up, get the double play. They did just that. In the dirt, blocked. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Shohei Otani, the next to hit. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch, and he just misses. Left-hand hitter waits. Late with the swing there. That looks like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And he deals. In the dirt, but kept close. Full count pitch will have to wait. Time called to the plate. Three, two. And they're all loaded up. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Up next for the Indians. Now it's the second baseman, David Fletcher. And Boog, I'd say he's due. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. 
First off, bring it just misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Christian Javier preparing to come on if needed. Stanek, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. And now two and nothing. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Wait on third, Marsh at second, Otani at first, one gone. The 2 0 is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that one handled to the plate for one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Angels strand a couple, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's Guriel. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Right hater back to work. That's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Out towards right center field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. One up, one down. Third baseman number two, Allen. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Alex Bregman sends it out. His fourth home run of the season, and this game is tied. It's 1-1. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Oledmis Diaz now at the plate. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. At the belt and fires. That one fouled off. And the right hander deals. In the air to left, down the line. Nice grab on the run. And there are two outs. Just pulled off of it a little the bit bounce. right there. That front the shoulder coming open Kick instead it. of staying closed. Just if he throw. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Third home run of the season. And they jump out front. It's 2-1. Singy, that's his 99th career homer. Well, he's probably already thinking about the next one. And don't want to think too hard because you'll start to struggle. 100 is a really nice number to get to, though. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's a speed the threat, field Jake field. Myers. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. And one oh. and two. Play 12. One, two, the count. Late swing fouled off. 
Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. One and two now. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his own. That's the third out. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. And now batting Mike Trout. Off of the, Angels, the center fielder, number 27. Valdez, Mike back to work. Trout. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a count one and two. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. No, oh, that's almost just not season. fair with that pitch. Here I mean, is. until the very last Whoa. second, looked like it was going to be well in off the plate, but the arm side run brought it right back to catch the inside corner. Tell you what, frustrating as a hitter, you give up on the pitch. I honestly don't know what you're supposed to do with that as a hitter other than just tip your cap as you walk back to the dugout. And now the lefty. Swing and a line drive caught. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Swing and a bouncer. In time to Guriel. That takes care of Rendon. Angels retired, one, two, three. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. It's the Astros two and the Angels one. Welcome back. Here's Kyle Tucker. Leading up for the Astros, the right fielder, Kyle. The right-hander back to work. That clips the corner. And it's even up. Next pitch is outside. Next one is off the play. Three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Swings and misses and we're filled up. I think he was sitting off speed there. And there's ball four. Michael Brantley up next for the Astros. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. The first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Next pitch is downstairs. Three one is on the way. Lifted in the air, right center field. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. Throw, and it gets away. 
The Lux Shooter, number 44, Yordan. Now it's Yordan Alvarez. Pretty good That's job on the mound in this one, Ziggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Yeah, now the 0-1. <laughs> one run game, one out, one on. The oh. next offering misses, and the count is one and two. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. He's been swinging it really well lately. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Now back to the second base. Okay. Rip to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. First and second, one out. And stepping in for the Astros, Yuli Gurriel. The first, first pitch doesn't find the zone. Gurriel. And the 1 0. -oh. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Trap settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two down. Third baseman number two, Allen Rickman. Bregman stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. There's a one one. Right through there for a strike. That one the other way. And that gets down for a base hit. Alvarez around third. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Hector Neris. Trying to protect this lead. Hector and welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Kurt Suzuki to step in. The catcher. Kurt Suzuki. comes a pitch good eye right there activity in the bullpen for Houston Phil Maton appears to be getting loose Baez warming up as well right handed reliever check swing but he went too far and it's one and one And the righty deals. Bounced up the middle. Diaz picks it up, sends it to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The right fielder, number three, Taylor Ward. 
And now the right fielder, Taylor Ward. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. And first offering is fouled off. Because this game's hard enough, and, you know, you try to minimize the pressure that you put on yourself or that you take in from outside. So, you know, sticking to the plan, the process, every day, coming in, doing your work, uh, making the adjustments you need to make, and just focusing on the task at hand that day. So now one and two. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Now batting Tyler Wade, and he's already singled in this game. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Left-hand batter waits. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Next offering down in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. And he makes it all the way to third with a two-out triple. It's hard to say if a good route would have allowed him to make that catch and prevent the base runner, but I would say a good route keeps that to a double instead of a triple. And now just 90 feet away from a run. Bill Maytop on the pitch out of the pen here. He's got a runner on third to deal with. Bill Maytop. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. In there for strike one. And a pitch. That's down and in. The 1-1. One, one. That one outside. 2-1. and one. Strike two. The tying run at the plate. Just misses the mark outside the zone. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And a swing and a miss. And that'll do it. Angels leave one. Score holds. It's 3-1.
So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jose Suarez. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Back here in Houston, bottom of the seventh, and stepping in for the Astros, Oledmis Diaz. Not shortstop, Oledmis Diaz. And the pitch. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. The 0 1. Bounce to third. Rendon throw to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting. Catcher. Jason. Castro. Castro takes a ball here as he stands in now. Next offering is down low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Ball well, could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. There's a strike, three and one. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now the center fielder, Jake Myers. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Cut on and miss to second, and he's out. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Try to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. And here it comes. Slow roller to first, and he grabs it foul. And down on strikes he goes, and that ends the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Houston, we're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the Angels' leadoff off man, the Angels. Shohei Otani. Shohei. The pitch. There's the strike. a miss he was late strike two swing and a miss and he got him and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth just blown away in that at bat three fastballs all strikes he wasn't even able to foul one off there's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes got to have better timing on the fastball next time Here's David Fletcher. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Guriel handles the chance. And a couple of quick outs. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense.
Trout in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Right hander kicks deals. That one hammered left field back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Angels go quietly there and they still trail it here three to one. Pitching change here, Mike Myers. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Back here at Minute Maid Park, bottom of the eighth. Here's the Astros' leadoff man, Kyle Tucker. And he deals. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. And Tucker is retired. Now batting. The designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Here's Michael Brantley. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. That one back up the middle and it gets through. The left field, number 44. So, man aboard. Here's Jordan Alvarez for the fourth time tonight. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone now. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really oh, got in on him, man. You no, know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve, and that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1 0. That clips the corner. Brantley on second. Altuve on at first with two down. Next pitch is outside. Fouled off down the right side. Kicks and deals. That one not close. And it's three and two. And that'll load the bases. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. And next to hit for Houston, Alex Bregman. He's already homered in this game. Kind of goes without saying, but straight on these two runners in scoring position right here, it feels like it's a must if they stand a chance to win this game. And that's in there for strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Base is loaded. Two down. Next pitch is inside. One and one. Ground ball left side. Whips it across. And they get Bregman for the out. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Astros leave them loaded, but they still lead it 3 1.
So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Jared Walsh. The pitch. Ball one there. One ball, no The pitch. So two balls and no strikes. pitch and a foul ball makes the count two and one righty to the plate a rope into right and that's a base hit so singy let's dive into the numbers courtesy of Statcast. do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard no, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. And that one fouled off with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch misses. One and two to count. One, two now. Got him swinging. Now one gone in the ninth. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Suzuki in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. And the 1 0. And a foul ball. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to it. Next one is off the plate. Ball three. And yeah, the right hander deals. Hard on the ground to first. To second. That's one. The double play ends it right here. All these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push it a little further, get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambu. Thanks for joining us.
Got like two 18s. Her favorite two short song is in those jeans. Check it, baby, if you like this song. Do it, dance every time they turn it on. It's got more bass than baseball. That's our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Three runs on Ted Hicks. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Angels, one run on six hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.